I'm Ian Somerville and in this video I'm going to talk about the different kinds of cyber attacks that can occur. Recall that a cyber attack is an attack using digital technology and networking on an individual, an organisation or a nation state with the aim of doing some kind of damage to, to whoever is being attacked. What I'm going to talk about here is the different classes of cyber attack and I've identified five different classes which I think are important. These classes are cyber fraud, cyber spying, cyber stalking or cyber bullying, cyber assault and cyber warfare. Cyber fraud are attacks whose aim generally is to try and get money for the perpetrator of the attacks. Instead of stealing money directly, they're trying to defraud individuals or organisations of money and, and benefit financially from the attack. An example of this, which many of us have seen, are so-called phishing attacks, where people set up fake websites with a view to collect the credentials of genuine users. So you might get an email pretending to be from your bank, which asks you to log on to their website. They provide a link in the email. You click in the link and it takes you to a website that looks very like your bank website. It then replicates the credential management system which your bank has. It collects your username, password, perhaps other information. And this then may be used by the <coughs> defrauder to try and then log into your account and transfer information. Generally speaking, the people carrying out these attacks have no idea where you're, whether or not you have a particular bank account. So they send out thousands or hundreds of thousands of emails to all sorts of people with the, the notion that they will get some genuine customers of the bank. This is a, a, a news story which happened uh, in China where many Chinese people were defrauded into giving away their banking details and the intention being to steal money from the Bank of China. Kind of related to it, but not exactly the same, or what you might call cyber spying, where the aim of the cyber attack is not necessarily to, to, to get money directly, but to collect information, to collect confidential information, which may then be used in some way. Sometimes that information is sold, so it's the aim of cyber spying is definite commercial gain. Spying is something that nations have been doing to each other for hundreds or maybe thousands of years. So cyber spying is simply an extension of this. This news story is about uh, the notion, the, the suggestion that uh, perhaps North Korea, perhaps South Korea were spying on, was spying on Russia. Another kind of cyber spying, which is, is possibly more recent, is, is cyber spying for industrial espionage, where <clears throat> one industry tries to collect the trade secrets of another industry. And sometimes this is done at a nation state level where some one nation state uh, sponsors cyber espionage with a view to collecting information that would benefit their industries. This is an example of a, a cyber spying attack on a chemical company. Cyber stalking and bullying is something that's just a bit newer. Theft and spying have been going on for many years, and I guess so has bullying and stalking, but it takes a slightly different form in the network world, where it's basically where in, it, it, it relies on social media sites, and individual users of these sites are harassed by other users, threatened sometimes, uh, insulted, and, and generally made to feel uncomfortable and frightened. Teenagers are often very susceptible to this kind of attack because they're, they're growing up, they're insecure, they're uncertain of themselves. So they perhaps give away some information and that information is used against them by bullies. Cyber stalking is where an individual, sometimes one who has been involved in a relationship with someone else, does not, is unwilling 
to, to give up on that relationship and, and terrorizes the individual, uh, one of the other, the other person who's been involved in that individual. And these, these cyber attacks have terrible psychological damage on people. Uh, there have been several instances of, of teenagers who have killed themselves as a consequence of the, of the, of the psychological pressure that has come from these cyber attacks. An even newer type of cyber attack or, or, or kind of cyber bullying comes through Twitter. And, and that's a bit different because in cyber bullying and things like Facebook, it's, it's usually people who are known in some way to the, to the subject of the bullying. But on Twitter, you, we have this phenomenon where individuals will make statements and, and completely unknown people will will terrorise them, will make threats against them. These are called Twitter trolls. And it seems to be something that if there are, for example, women who make high profile statements about some uh, public matter, they, they get attacked by the, these trolls. It's, it's a completely bizarre and totally unacceptable way of, of thinking. Cyber assault is or, or I choose to, to, to look at cyber assault a little bit differently from cyber bullying, although cyber bullying really is a form of cyber assault, but really it's, it's, a, it's a cyber attack where the aim is actually to do some kind of damage, not just psychological damage, but it's either to damage equipment, to, to damage the hardware in some way, or it's to corrupt or delete uh, confidential information or software systems. One type of attack which we get, or a very common type of attack of, of which is intended to cause cyber damage, is so-called de denial of service attacks, where a website is flooded with requests with the aim of overwhelming that. It cannot cope with the volume of traffic. It goes offline and therefore the owner of the website is damaged in some way. Sometimes these uh, cyber attacks are, are perpetrated uh, again with the notion of financial gain, the idea being that threats will be made against a, a website owner that if they don't pay, their website will be taken offline. In other times, uh, on other occasions, there is, is caused by people who have a grievance of some kind against the individual site being attacked, or sometimes it's simply vandalism with the aim is simply to take down high profile sites. This is an example here of denial of service attacks against a number of US banks. As it happens, people like banks are <coughs> very well equipped to deal with that kind of attack. And it's relatively uncommon that they, they succeed in taking them down completely. Now, an extreme form of cyber assault is what you might call cyber warfare. And that's where one or often more than one of the participants in the attack are nation states where the idea is to cause damage to another country by attacking its infrastructure in some way. Cyber warfare attacks tend to be hidden by both the perpetrators and the subject of the attacks, but they may take the form of denial of service attacks. So a number of years ago, uh, it was suggested that <coughs> Estonia, a number of Estonian institutions were being attacked by, the, by Russia because of various anti-Russian statements that had been made. That was never validated. Uh, it was never clear where these attacks started from, whether they were official Russian cyber attacks or whether they were carried out by people within Russia who were sympathetic to the government, but the government had nothing to do with it. We don't know. You also get another kind of cyber attack and this often happens against the, the infrastructure and in particular the control systems, the SCADA based control systems in the infrastructure. And the intention there is to cause some kind of physical damage. Probably the, the best known cyber attack or cyber warfare attack is the so-called Stuxnet worm. And this was an attack uh, which was targeted at Iran and the intention was to try and damage their uranium production facilities. It was widely thought that the attack was launched by the US and Israeli intelligence agencies because at that time, both of them, there was, there was a lot of tension between Iran and, and the US and Israel and concerns about Iran's development of a nuclear bomb. 
The attack had some success. Uh, it was not completely successful and there'll be another video on this in this series. In summary then, there are five kinds of cyber attack. Cyber fraud with the aim of getting money. Cyber spying with the aim of collecting information but not necessarily damaging or destroying that information. Cyber bullying or cyber stalking whose aim is to cause psychological damage to an individual. Cyber assault whose, name is to, whose aim is to cause kind of, some kind of physical damage either to hardware or to uh, <coughs> data or to programs in the system. And cyber warfare which is where a nation state tries uh, some kind of cyber assault against some other state. You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.